Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be doing a stonefly pattern, a river pattern. Um, fairly heavy. I want it, I want this to sink like a rock. So um, I do tie them in tef several different patterns. Um, and one I'm going to show you, the, actually the one of the legs broke off, but um, I tie it like that. And this one's actually got a well oversized, like three times oversized bead underneath it. Um, but it gives you a really big thorax. So today I'm going to be using some Zemperfly sticky back flat lead. Um, this is a size eight uh, curved nymph hook from Mustad. Um, yeah, it's got a barb. I'll pinch that after. Um, I will be using some um, black and red rubber legs throughout the front and back. I like these little red sparkles and it. it's just another one of those little attractors. Um, this isn't exactly the best because these are flat. Um, I'd rather have the round legs, but don't have any at the moment. So going with this, <clears throat> which I know works because I've used it before. Um, for the thorax area, I'll be using some Hen Spectra dubbing, black. Um, and for the shell back, I'll be using some pearl scud back in this uh, kind of a dark green. Um, I, if I had it in black, I'd do it in black. Um, and then, yeah, that's about And then I'll be using some black uh, nano silk. So first things first, I want to get a bit of a bit of weight on here so I'm just going to start about there it's going to come forward nice and tight wrap that nice and tight come to about there you want to leave a little bit of room in front and I just tear that off then I will again just quickly with my scissor just make a taper into that sticky back that's the nice thing with this stuff it's so th uh, easy to cut and again I'm just going to Build a bit of a taper up here and stop where I stopped with my last one there about there there we go that gives me quite a bit of weight I could add a bit more if I really wanted to but that's enough so okay you could put a little bit of crazy glue on that if you wanted but I never found that it uh, makes much difference um, I'm gonna wax my thread Started right behind the eye there. Just build up a bit of a, almost like a thread down there. And then I can get, open my wraps up and go over top of my lead. <clears throat> and I do want, because of the materials I'm using for this, I do want to cover this lead right up with black thread. I don't want to be seeing it. I'm going to try to smoothen that out. So I'm just going to flatten my thread out, do 20 or 30 turns, flatten my thread out. same thing just come on forward try not try to cover those bumps as best as you can you're not going to get it perfect um, I'm using the small black um, vinyl tube for the body if you can get a medium um, it's even better I've got lots of medium but not in black so um, but the small will do like I said I'm just smoothing it out a bit just a little bit of prep, unfortunately. It's just uh, the way it goes with some of these flies, right? So it's just because, like I said, I'm using the small vinyl rib, and you'll see every little bump then, right? So uh, I'm just going to go around the corner here. About there. And then I'm going to come back up to about there. I'm going to take one set of my rubber legs here. Now, you can do this either way. I... I don't know if there's any advantage to, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can either tie them in like this on the one side. So you got one out the front and one out the back right away. But I don't like doing that because I find the one out front gets in my way until the end. So I like doing that near to the end. So I'm just going to tie these in by the, like that, fold it over, give it a nice good pull just to, Then I'm going to split them and I'm going to go down either side. I want to go just kind of figure eight through here. Just want to, I want to spread them apart a bit. That's all. That's all it is, right? So, and again, on that side, just get that material on this side. And then on this one, I can just make sure it stays there just so it splits apart a bit. That's all. So 
and then just I can tell that this is old old rubber legs you see how, how it got white when I pulled it these are old they've been probably have had these for 15 years so and just bring that stuff all the way forward there I'm not too too worried about what's going on at the front here yet again flatten my thread a bit I don't care about the length of these these legs yet just leave them okay and then I'm gonna come back all the way up here I'm gonna get my piece of uh, <clears throat> this is happens to be UTC vinyl rib in black in a small like I said I, if I had the medium that's what I would definitely be using as a medium but just because it's a little bit more difficult to cover the body with the small so and just tie that in by the side here all the way down to the tie-in point of the legs try not to go over the legs because then you'll kind of push them back together <clears throat> and now this part can be i'm going to actually bring my magnifying glass over because i want to be able to see that i'm touching the wrap prior to it right so like i said this this goes much nicer if you've got medium and gives you a better what I would actually do is do this in black medium and then use the small as a rib almost like seg so you can show that segmentation but um, <clears throat> I really haven't noticed any difference in fishing with this or the other one so It's not the prettiest up front there, but that's okay. One more wrap. One more wrap right there. Like I said, this would have been better with the medium, but it, it will work actually really nice. So, Okay, tie it off. Get back to the front. Nippy nippy. Then I'm going to come back. Now... You can use whatever you want as a shell back here. Um, I have used peacock curl in regular green. I've used peacock curl in black. I've used black flat, like just regular black scud back. I really like this stuff here. So I'm going to just tie this in. Again, this is from Hens. It's a, um, what's it called? It's called pearl scud back. So I just like, like this stuff. It just, I like the way it looks. I like the little extra sheen it gives. It just, yeah, I did one more of those little things, right? So, and that's this has fallen off like that. Like you can see the thread building up like that. That's purely because of that uh, that um, underbody lead, right? So, but that's okay. That's I want a bit of a fatter thorax anyway, right? So, eventually I want to build this up anyway. So that's all good. So now I'm going to take another set of those rubber legs. Like I said, this is my different, like I could have tied it in, could have easily tied it in at the front, but like it front on each side and then this would be done. But I just really find that they get in the way when you're tying this one. So um, again, just tie them in, try to keep them on top. You can not worry about that there, nip that off. It's all gonna get covered by dubbing anyway. Now I like going up to the front, back up to the front and splitting these. So I'm going to figure right through them, just like I, as if I was doing dumbbell eyes. So go there, go there, two or three times, just to help them stay split. Don't do that. See what I mean? But they get, they, I find they get in the way. So even more so when you, when they. Yeah, at the beginning so now I'm actually gonna take them and I'm gonna lay them I want them about as long as the hook so about like there and that's about where I want to cut them get them out of my way get that extra length out of my way so okay now I'm gonna take some of that black dubbing now you can go with a more natural dubbing that doesn't have the sparkle like this stuff does um, but I really like this stuff I like that I like having a little bit of sparkle in my in my river flies just as an attention getter um, I don't always but I just like that 
that little bit of a extra attention, right? Just, oh, hey, what's that, right? Because sometimes they miss stuff when it just floats by, right? Well, harder to miss when there's sunlight gleaming off of the dubbing and off of the shell back, right? So, but I do tie some way more natural ones as well. So, okay, so that's about it. I'm up to there, bring my scud back forward, hold that down. Just a loose wrap, just to make sure it stays where it is. Give that a bit of a tug, just to make sure it's tight. Two, three, lift it up. Two, three. Just nip off that shell back. I uh, get my vib finishing tool, put a little tiny, tiny bit of whatever head cement you like. My case I'm just gonna be using some Sally's I find Sally's is it's whether it's the best or not I can't tell you for sure but I love the fact that I can get it anywhere if I run out I can just go to the next uh, pharmacy and get it right so one two three four turn whip finish make sure you don't get that leg caught in there and then I just take my my Velcro and I just give it a couple of just a little bit that's it that's it I don't want much if it gets too too long I'll pull that out I just want a little bit so there that is your finished one. Oh no sorry that's a lie now I take this one and I go to the front of the hook and I want it a little bit longer than my hook length out the back as well there so now that's your finished fly All right if you want more weight than that, you could put another layer of of of, uh, of lead on there. You could actually just put a bead at the front and have your eye have your legs coming out from underneath your bead. Uh, it's 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 totally up to you what you like. Um, I know this just like this works really really well, and this one does too. Uh, the one I showed you guys earlier with the bead that's underneath the uh, underneath the W. Um, but it's just you see how much bulkier that is, right? It's not as streamlined. I like the streamlined nature of this one, so. But yeah, that's about it. If you want, you could put a little bit of uh, uh, UV resin or whatever on that body just to help protect it. But it, this vinyl rib stuff is, is pretty strong. So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys on the next time video. Tie lines, everyone.